Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm coming back at you today with a luxury review on the Louis Vuitton Turin PM. So stick around so you can see what I think about this purse. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down below, hit the notification bell, which is right next to it. It's free. Hit the like button for this video if you liked what I did and you'd like to see more content like this. And I will get started with this video. Also, I wanted to mention that I used my Tarte Shape Tape today when I got ready. Um, I did do the TikTok makeup and then I used this as a concealer at the very end to touch up around my eyes. Then I used the Tarte Lit Tease um, eyeshadow palette and I really enjoyed using both of these things. So far the shape tape is wearing really well and I'm really happy with it but I'm only like three or four hours into my day. I can give you a really more uh, in-depth review on it once I'm back to work and I'm behind the chair and working. So till then, that's my mini, mini review on it. So I'm talking about the Turin PM today. It is a gorgeous piece. Um, I can tell you a little bit about how I got it, what I paid for it, what the retail cost of it is, and why I like it so much. So let's just jump right in. So this bag came with the dust bag and the um, show, you know, um, crossbody strap, which is definitely something that I look for in purses now. I like to have all the options of carrying it as a crossbody, a shoulder bag, or a top handle piece. Um, so I like having that option and that's why I uh, have gotten, like as I'm looking more at purses, I've narrowed down what I really like. I like tote bags and then I like to have the options of those three things in a bag. So those are my preferences. You'll have to do your, you know, go through your own journey and see what you like in purses or not. All right, so let's just jump into this purse, shall we? The Louis Vuitton, uh, it's the Monogram Turin PM. It retails for $1,540. I paid $1,050 plus 86.63 tax and zero shipping because I chose to have it just regular shipped. And that makes it a total that I paid of $1,136.63. So I saved from what the retail value is to what I paid total. Um, and the retail value is without adding any tax to it. So it was actually more of a saving. So it was probably more. Mm. So what I saved was $404 and that includes the tax that I paid. The $1,540 plus tax would be the difference. It would probably be closer to a $500 difference, which I think is a great savings for a, a piece that it like looks really great. I will tell you online, when I look at the listing, I'm pulling it up right here. So on the listing for this, this exact purse, I can still see the listing, I just, it won't show you what it sold for. Um, it was listed as very good condition. It has corner wear, uh, patina of the Vachetta, edge wear, liquid marks on the exterior. Now I don't see any liquid marks on the exterior, so I don't actually know what they were talking about. Maybe it's on the Vachetta. Oh, right here. It's just a little bit darker on the Vachetta here. I don't even think you can see that in a video than up on top. So it says it was, um, you know, liquid marks in it. Okay. I don't, that doesn't bother me. Um, the handle says it has edge wear, scuffs, darkening, patina, liquid, liquid marks, sizing marks, and just general marks. Well, it is kind of scuffed up a little bit around the edges on the outside of the handles. The resin glazing looks really good. I mean, I'm not like, Fashion File goes out of their way to report every little thing that they think they even see, which is why I really like that site because they will over explain things to where you're actually going, should I get this or no? Every time I've gotten something and I was even kind of nervous about it, about like maybe what the description was, it's like when I get it in person, it's way less than what they actually explain it to be. So take that for what it is. You can also email them about a particular item if it says, um, if it says like tarnishing or liquid marks or whatever, you can, you can message them and ask them about that and they will look at that specific purse. Um, all right, so then it says the hardware is scratches, tarnished and plating wear. Well, that's gonna be, that's gonna be every 
purse that has any kind of hardware because it's going to scratch up over time. It really isn't anything that like if you weren't looking up close for it that you would see from far away. Um, and again, like this is one of those things that I feel like somebody else purchased it new and then kind of took the hit on that for me. So then I got to pay less for it and still get a really great purse. So I'm actually going to take the bubble wrap out. Excuse me for just one second. Keep it stuffed with bubble wrap just to keep it, keep, help keep it straight. Help it keep it shape. Um, so then on the interior in the um, description of this, it says the interior has residue marks, fading, and a musty odor. Wow. I see a little bit of fading. I don't see residue marks. I mean, barely, 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 like very, very slightly. I don't even think that you'll be able to see that in there at all, like that down into it. Let me see if I can move the light around and show it a little bit. Yeah, I don't really, I guess in that I can kind of see it, but it's really, it's, again, it's on the interior and who cares? And then, musty odor, I don't, you know, all purses kind of get a little bit of a musty odor over time anyway, um, but, I have been like thrilled with this bag. I love it. It's just such a great, a great piece to have in my collection. So, so the details about this bag are the base length is 9.7 inches. The longest length is going to be 12.5 inches. So from like here to here where it's at its widest, it's going to be 12.5. The height is nine inches. The width is four inches wide, which that looks, that looks bigger than four inches, but I guess it's not. And then the handle drop is four inches. And then the drop of the strap is gonna be an adjustable 20 inches. So I will measure that strap in a minute to see if that it's shortest it's 20 or if it's longest it's 20 inches. And I'll get right back to you. Okay, so it is at its longest from the tip of this um, key ring to the tip of the other key ring, it's 46 inches. So it must be 20 inches at its shortest. Um, which really gives you a lot of play with the, the length of the strap. And that's really nice because if some people like to wear it longer when they're wearing it crossbody and other people like to wear it a little bit shorter so it sits up a little higher. I personally like it to hit right about my hip because um, I typically will wear it crossbody but kind of in the front of my, um, my torso. I have a little bit more uh, knowledge of if somebody was trying to get in my purse. I've never had that as an issue but maybe that's why because I'm always pretty uh, aware of where my purse is. I don't know. It does have the uh, Vachette tab here that says Louis Vuitton Paris, and it's got these two beautiful gold rivets. Um, and then the, oh, I didn't mention that the other thing it says, the condition, it says that it, I thought it said, I don't see that. Maybe I was looking at a different one. I thought it said that it had been altered or repaired, but look, I guess I don't see that anymore, but um, the only thing about this one is these tabs look newer than the rest of this Vachetta. So I, it kind of seems like somebody got these replaced. Um, and then this bag was made in 2015. So it's only like five years old. Let's see, it was made in the 19th week of 2015. So yeah, it's five years old. Um, so this bag is just so beautiful. It's got these beautiful pleats on the sides and these are sewn down so they won't actually come out there are some other um, style of purses that the the pleating will it comes out and it doesn't sit as well i think it's the tavoli maybe um that pleats in the middle and it 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 kind of doesn't keep it shape so got all that it's got this great shape that it kind of it's a very unique shape and that's that's something that i really love about it too um because it kind of it's almost like a clamshell shape and i just oh I just think it's so cute. That, like, it's just so cute. Um, the interior is that great raisin color. It's like a textile lining. Uh, it seems like almost like a canvas type type material, but there are pockets. Well, let's look at this one. There's one slip pocket here, and this one is kind of worn looser. Um, and then there are, let's see, one, one pocket here, a slip pocket here, and a slip pocket right here. So you've got two right here on that side. You've got a D-ring right here. So if you wanted to attach a pochette from another bag, your keys, hand sanitizer, uh, you name it, 
your clay, your monogram clay, you could attach that there. Um, the world is your oyster. The <laughs> world is your oyster. <laughs> this great, great leather piece right here that says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then over here in the corner, you can see right here there's a tag and it is a, a leather tag. And it actually has the, the made in USA of imported materials and it says the LV stamp on it. And then tucked in here, in this slip pocket, which is on the two-sided slip pocket, um, there is the date code. And the date code of this one is, this date code is SD1195, which means 19th week of 2015 is when it was created. The SD stands for what country it was made in. I, I am not sure. I'm not even gonna try to pretend that I know which one that is for, but if I find it, I will put that right here on the screen. Um, so that's the Turin PM. It is just such a great bag, great weekend bag if you're trying to carry a little bit less, like I carry my Neverfull GM during the week, but I don't wanna carry that on a weekend out, especially if we're going to like a restaurant where there may not be somewhere to set your bag down next to you, that giant bag of a, a tote. So. I like something like this where it's a little bit smaller and doesn't take up as much room. But um, like I said, I just also really love the unique shape of it. It's it's just really, really um, special. I, I just love it. So I got this one after deciding that I really love having a top handle with a crossbody strap option. Um, I also, you know, I have the speedy bandolier. I have three speedy bandoliers now, 225s um, and 130 and they're all in different prints and different materials. So I feel like they're different enough that I just enjoy them each individually. But this one, because of that unique shape, it just, it, it makes my heart sing like Minnie from Minx For All says. So I will link her down below in the description box. Um, I first really started paying attention to this bag when LV Coffee Lover, I will also link her in the description box, she talks a lot about uh, luxury goods uh, all across from Balenciaga to Louis Vuitton to, I don't think she has any Chanel. She may now, I I'm not sure, but she has this purse. And I was going back and forth between the PM and the MM. And I wanted something that was just a little bit smaller because I have the Speedy Bando in the 30 size and the monogram print. And it's a fantastic piece but it does, it is a little bit big. So I do like to carry that one to work sometimes, but sometimes it's just a little bit big. And I believe if I recall the measurements for the MM, the Turin MM and the Speedy, Speedy 30, Speedy Bando 30 uh, were pretty similar. And so I thought, you know what, I'm trying to like get a couple of like little bit smaller bags in my collection, nothing teeny tiny yet, but something that I can still carry all my necessities in but then also be able to carry around and like go shopping with my mom and my sister on a weekend and not have it like killing my shoulder. So this is the bag that won me over. I absolutely love it. Um, so for storage, I do put that bubble wrap in it or that bubble paper, air paper in it and help it keep its shape. And then I do because of the Vachetta, I don't want, I do have this window, so I don't want the sun hitting the bag and aging the Vachetta, especially unevenly. Um, because if it's like this handles back and this one's forward, it would age this. And I've even seen purses where you get like a line right here from the handle laying on top of it, just because it it um, the sun wasn't hitting there. So I am very careful about my vachette pieces, vachetta pieces. But other than that, just a great all around purse. I would absolutely highly recommend this. Um, if you're not sure if the measurements, like how big it is and all that, take the measurements that I posted up earlier and talked about earlier and here's what i do if i can't get a really good visual on it um, i will do mod shots at the end but take a piece of cardboard and cut out or draw on it the the measurements of the bag so draw the length the length the height and then um, finish that out and then take a like right underneath it draw out like a like this one four inches of a box underneath it and then cut that out of the cardboard and set that cardboard up so you can see like this is about the 
the shape of it, about the, the measurements of it, how big it is, and will that work for my lifestyle? This is how wide it is. Will it hold what I need it to hold? So that, that's my recommendation. I have been known to do that, and it actually does help me. It feels silly when I'm doing it, but I don't care. I wanna make sure that it's something I like if I can't get my hands on it um, in a store. So this is one bag that is no longer sold in the boutiques. It is a pre-loved purchase that you'll have to go the pre-loved route. I will find some on Fashion File and link them in the description box below uh, so that you can go and check them out for yourself and see what you think. So thank you guys for joining me. I will put the mod shots right here after the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for tuning in again today. I appreciate your support and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm back. I'm, um, um, just so I have, I can, just so that I have, it's gonna be loud. Like keep it stuck. Uh, let's see. All right, it is a great. It's a great. Use this.